Hey guys, this is Ada coming in with a quick word. Okay, um, guys, you know, we're in a spiritual battle. If you belong to the Lord, you're in a spiritual battle. And your battle is not flesh and blood, it's against spiritual witness in high places, according to the word. Now, you know, you have spirits that monitor you. You have spirits that try to delay you. The Apostle Paul said he would was going to one of the churches, but he was hindered. We have hindering spirits, guys, and it's biblical. Now, God put us all here for a purpose. Even the people who do evil, they're here for a purpose, okay? You know, if they don't have a relationship with Christ, of course, they're working for the kingdom of darkness. I don't care how nice they are, how sweet they are, what have you. They're working for the kingdom of darkness if they haven't developed their relationship with Christ. And they can be used at any minute, okay? Christians can be used if they're not submitted to the Lord. They can be used at any, in, at any minute, guys. So we're in a spiritual war. And the enemy is a liar, and he was a liar from the beginning, okay? And so, it's his job to come and try to lie and manipulate situations to get you off course. And if you don't have on the whole armor of God, God I'm sorry, the whole armor of God, you will get off course. See, you have to have on the helmet of the salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. Your, um, you have to have on the belt of truth. Your feet shod with the gospel of peace. You have to have the sword of the word. Because he, the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy, guys. And it's nothing more than for him to wound a Christian or wound someone who is really submitted to the, the Lord. He wants you wounded. So you can be a casualty on the battlefield. You will no longer be a testimony. You will be a money. See, a lot of times he will bless you and he will put you in uh, positions but the enemy is after that position because he knows that that position that the Lord has positioned you in is going to bring God glory. And he also know if he can bring you down, then he bringing some souls down with you guys. He bringing some souls down. So with that being said, guys, just realize that you're on the battlefield. Now, do we need to go around fearful? No, but we need to make sure that we have on the whole armor God, of God. And we need the shield of faith. That's one I forgot. We need to put up, we need the shield of faith so when the enemy send those doors, we have a shield to protect us. So it's our faith, guys. It's our helm of the salvation. It's our breastplate of righteousness. It's the uh, belt of truth. The shoes of the gospel of peace. The sword of the word. So with that being said, guys, make sure you have on the whole armor of God through his grace. Because there's nothing that the enemy want more than a wounded soldier that's in that's in the, uh, the army of the Lord. He wants you wounded. He wants you inoperable. He wants you quiet. He wants you to get somewhere. So when the enemy send those trials, and if you're looking at it in the natural, then he want he wants you shame. He wants you to hide. He wants you to run away. But see, that's not consistent with God because we're going to go through trials and tri tribulations. We're going to go through valleys. But it's the spirit of the Lord that lives in us. That same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead is in us. So we don't have to hide, guys, when we go through situations or circumstances. We need to come boldly to the throne of God when in our time of need. Come boldly. That's what his word says. So with that being said, guys, just remember, you're in a spiritual battle. If you belong to the Lord, you're in a spiritual battle. But the battle's not yours, it's the Lord's. You just have to put on the whole armor of God. So with that being said, guys, if this video's been helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Somebody else can benefit, please share it.